members of Brawlhalla. How's it going, Matt? It's going great. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about what our finalists will be playing today? For sure. They're playing Brawlhalla. Brawlhalla is short for the Grand Tournament of Valhalla. Valhalla is the Viking warrior heaven. And, but the Valkyries haven't just brought Vikings. They brought ninjas, they brought pirates, they brought monsters, they brought aliens. So there's tons of characters for your players to choose from. That sounds awesome. So all the great warriors are there. All the great warriors of the ages. Fantastic. So do you have any advice for our players? For sure, for sure. You want to use the B attack. You want to build up damage. You're going to get two points for each uh, knockout you do. You have two minutes. At the end of two minutes, whoever has the most points gets the golden ticket. That sounds fantastic. Well, let's head on over there and get this final started. Indeed. All right. Are you guys really ready? No, 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 no. People, make some noise for this finale. Are you ready? Yeah. Woo -hoo. Woo. All right. I would say press the button. And then countdown. Dun, dun, dun. The anticipation is real. Three, two, one, fight! All right, we've got uh, four good characters here. They've all, we've got Ada. Ada has a spear and she has blasters. Really quick character, good for getting in close. We have Ember. Ember is a, is a warrior from the forest. She's an elf and she has guitars and she also has a bow and arrow. Very dangerous with the wolf character as well. Nash is our caveman. Caveman has a camera, he has a spear, and he has some heavy, heavy, strong, strong attacks. And finally, we've got Azuri, the cat lady. The cat woman has katars, and she also has a sword, and she'll also be moving in for quick attacks. Now we look here, and some characters have, oh, there we already got a kill. We've got, ooh, another kill. Wow, they're racking them up quick here. The, if you can fight unarmed, and that's fine, but what you really want to do is see these weapons, these, we these weapons that are falling from the sky. When you pick them up, you're going to get one of your two main weapons, and oh, there we go. They have figured out the weapon system and are doing really well. The, oh, Ember is going in and mixing it up. She is really in the middle of everything. Nash is kind of backing off, letting the battle come to him. Oh, and that worked out for him with a hard ground pound. It's four to four with under a minute left. We have anybody can get into this. Ada can get in with a nice double, with a double kill. Azuri can get back in with just a single kill. It's tied up at the top. It's mixing it up right there in the middle. Wow, there's 30 seconds left. Ember's got a weapon. She's right there in the middle. She's holding on to that lead. Oh, she's picked it up. She's got six points. Somebody needs to step up. We're under 30 seconds. Nash is moving in hard. We need to close it out. You need you guys need to move in. You got to take it away from Ember. She's doing well. Oh, oh, Azuri's got the ground pound. She's coming in for it. She's going to try and make her move right now. She's looking, looking, looking for the hit, looking for the hit. Is she going to find it? Ten, eight, six, five. Oh, six to six. We are tied up. Three, two, one. It is tied. Luckily, this game comes standard with a tiebreaker. They're both top characters are at deep, deep red. They're going in hard. Just decide a winner. <laughs> we have to pick, and Whoa. the winner is winner, all right. Winner, Here you go, golden ticket, ultimate gaming backpack. Woo. Let's go, <laughs> let's go. Enjoy the conference. That was intense. We're here. <laughs> All the teams, all the people here in the fan zone, in the theater. Show's about to begin. Hashtag UBE3. Lots of love from everyone all here. And, all the love. And don't forget the post show. Ah, After the shoot. main show, we have exclusive gameplay from the Division 2. You definitely don't want to miss this. Enjoy the show. Bye. Have fun. here in the theater and on, as on online at home. We cannot wait to show you what we have today. And I can promise you, it's more interesting than a keychain. Oh. <laughs> too soon, maybe, too soon. I don't know, up in the balcony, are you guys ready? Yeah. Yes. Down on the main floor, are you guys ready? Let's go, players. All right, everybody. everybody 
Everybody at home, are you ready? Yes, yes, yes. we're just gonna assume that they're ready. <laughs> well, if you're ready for the biggest gaming, uh, biggest Big show, show in gaming, then let's start the show. Let's do it! Let's do it! Ok, pues vamos a ver qué nos trae el tío Ubisoft. Digo, ya se liqueó Assassin's Creed. El de Crew 2, este, For Honor. Bueno, vamos a ver qué más enseñan. ¿Ya les gustó a los de Ubisoft hacer este tipo de cosas con banditas estudiantiles? Se recordarán que el año pasado también en la presentación de... ¿O fue EA? Ya no me acuerdo, es más tan ridículo que ya no me acuerdo. Pero pues aquí se sacaron, me parece que fue en el Madden, sacaron una bandita también parecida. Dios Dance O por lo menos eso me imagino Si, sí, ahí está Dios Dance 2019, ya sabíamos
Y John Gunnar Evil 2 ¿Ya lo van a sacar de una vez? Bueno Eating your miraculous space chili. Export. Well, I have no idea what you mean. Our food is healthy, mm, invigorating. Captain to crew, dead monkey in the crow's nest. I repeat, monkey down. El space chili strikes again. Copy that, Captain. Hey, Paige. Bet we could use your space chili to overclock our engines. Negativo, mi amor. Only you can melt my circuits. Uh, keep laughing, fools. The key ingredient to good cooking is love. We are dead in the water. I repeat. Main engines are cursed. Nox, come in. What have we got on the scanners? Jack shit. Nada. Hey, 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 wait. I see something. Three o'clock starboard. It, it's massive. I get back here, Shani. Hold off! <laughs> Todas las rayitas que están viendo en el video, hijos, son cosas del stream de Ubisoft. A mí no me vean. Hello, I'm Gabrielle Schrager, narrative director. And I'm Guillaume Brunier, senior producer. We are so happy to be back this year to share our progress on our space opera, Beyond Good and Evil 2, a game full of wonder, emotion, danger, and high stakes drama. Last year, you all saw the enigmatic green eyed Captain Dakini leading the legendary crew of the God on a quest to discover the location and the mystery behind a deep space artifact known as Moksha. But the Kini has since gone missing. Shani is now captain of the Gada, and she's leading her crew into the deep, unexplored space beyond System 3, when they come face to face with their nemesis. Fans will have recognized a ferocious young Jade. <laughs> And Paige is back as the incorrigible chief cook of the Gada. We've got two other officers, Uma, the holistic chief medic, and Callum, our chief engineer. And all of these legendary characters will be playing a major role in our prequel. 
Today, we are proud to represent our growing production team in Montpellier, Barcelona, Bordeaux, and Sofia. Thanks, everyone, for making it happen. Thank you. Thank you for them. Thank you. Thank you for them. In, B in, B in BGE2, you are a space pirate captain in a distant galaxy near the end of the 24th century. Yep. At this year's E3, we will be showcasing a new behind-closed-doors demo offering a first <laughs> look at our major location, the sacred city of Ganesha. Now, let's take a look at our first pre-alpha gameplay footage. Bien, van a enseñar gameplay, pero es un pre-alpha. Vamos a ver qué tal. Y van a tener gameplay también, pero a puerta cerrada dentro del evento. Ganesha is a metropolis filled with sacred temples, beautiful gardens, and bustling shops. But it's also a darker underworld, rife with dirty bars and dangerous back alleys. Our game is an action-adventure RPG that you can play alone or with your friends in co-op. From the intimate interior of a hidden temple to the very edge of the galaxy, fight on the ground and in space at massively different scales. And all of this seamlessly. seamlessly. <laughs> what you will be seeing at E3 this year is only a very small part of a much larger open universe we are creating. A universe we are also building with our fans. Yeah, let's go. With Beyond Good and Evil 2, we want our community to participate in a way that's never been done before through the Space Monkey program. We want our fans and people all over the world to really be a part of creating the game. So today, we are issuing an open invitation for people all over the world to contribute their ideas, music, artworks, and create original content that players will experience as they explore the world of Beyond Good and Evil 2. And there is literally a universe of ways for artists to express themselves, from giant frescoes to murals, street art, music, radio content, and much more. To do this, we have partnered with a company at the forefront of community collaboration, Hit Record. And here to tell us more is their founder, Joseph Gordon Levitt. this theater so thanks thanks you guys thanks Guillaume and and thanks Gabrielle it's really good to be here um, I'm super excited to do this um, for those of you who don't know um, hit record is this thing that I've been making for a long long time it's really dear to me and uh, it's a place where people all over the world work together on short films or music or art all kinds of projects this is the first time we're making stuff that's gonna go into a video game um, so it's a little bit different than other like creative platforms um, that you can find on the internet because the point of hit record it isn't just to post and promote stuff that you've made on your own the point is to collaborate so like when we're making music for beyond good and evil 2 it's not just going to be a thing like a contest where people submit songs and then we pick one or two of them and we put them in the game we're going to be really making the songs together and the same goes for the visual assets that we'll be creating so whether you're a writer uh, a musician, an illustrator, if you're a pro-level artist, or if you're just someone who really cares about Beyond Good and Evil and that world and you love it and you want to be a part of it, there's going to be ways for you to contribute. Um, our first creative challenges are live as of like now. Someone's at my office pushing the button, like very nervous. <laughs> you guys are doing great. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so come to our site, check out the Beyond Good and Evil 2 page at hitrecord.org. And um, that's it. Go do that shit. Thanks. Ya empezaron a decir shit. <risa> ¿Dónde está mi morenaza de fuego? ¿Dónde está? Hit Record's approach to community co collaboration is inspiring and we're incredibly happy to be working with Joseph and his team and we really can't wait to see what the community creates. So, let's do it. We will be showcasing some of this content at our very first dedicated community event, the BG Fest, which will take place in Montpellier this fall. Thanks everyone. Have a great E3. Oh, 
más contenido para Rainbow Six. Hola, everyone. My name is Justin Kruger, community developer on Rainbow Six Siege. And I'm here today to talk about our community. Our community that inspires us and drives us every single day. The Siege team back in Montreal has actually been so inspired by seeing all of the millions of people playing our game every single day. Uh, over the past two and a half years. We've actually absolutely loved seeing our community grow, and I'm excited to announce today that the Rainbow Six Siege community is now 35 million players. <laughs> yes, thank you. Qué bueno que le esté yendo bien a Rainbow Six Siege, que es un juego que lo ha levantado su comunidad. Todo el mundo pensaba que estaba muerto, igual que otros como Low Breakers, pero no. Su comunidad lo levantó. Muy buena comunidad. And if you want to get to know all of these guys a little bit better, uh, uh, you can play Operation P uh, Parabellum, which is playable right now. And if you want to see them in action at the top of their game, tune into the Rainbow Six Siege Pro League, kicking off on June 18th at 5 p.m. Pacific time. The world's biggest esport teams will be competing for six months of intense Rainbow Six action. And that's just one of the many ways to enjoy competitions for Rainbow Six. The sixth major is just around the corner and will be hosted in Paris this August. Our Pro League Finals will then take us to Brazil in November. Yeah, Brazil. And then the sixth Invitational will once again be the pinnacle of Rainbow Six, taking place in Montreal in February 2019. Yeah. So whether you're a player, or just a fan of esports, there really is no better time to get into Rainbow Six Esports. And with the growth of the game, the community, and the esports teams, we wanted to take a, a, a moment to reflect on some of our most influential players. Today, I'm excited to unveil a sneak peek at an upcoming documentary that is focused on a few familiar faces who took their love for Siege to the next level. Without further ado, here's the first look at Another Mindset. That is like the greatest injury to ever happen to me, only because uh, it brought Siege to me. I've been doing this for what, since year one, season one, right? And I failed, 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 and then finally we started succeeding. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to come back. I received a smile, a tear, an emotion, a smile de uma, pessoas que eu nunca vi na minha vida, que eram torcedores da BD. Acho que você tem que realmente botar toda a sua emoção dentro do jogo. Ok, vamos fazer um documental sobre oito jogadores profissionais de Rainbow Six Siege. Se va a llamar Another Mindset. Ok. Bueno, va, no va a ser nada más jugadores, sino analistas, este, bla, bla, bla. De crudos.
else is all about crashing with style and getting up again. Hello! I'm Ant Ilvaso, creative director of trials and also Prime Minister of Finland. <laughs> now I'm pleased to announce the trial is back and it's bigger than ever. Now there's trail rising. <laughs> Ese juego estaba muy chido. Este juego es un juego que tiene unas físicas muy complejas dentro de su gameplay, como podrán ver, eh, no está tan fácil manejar las motitos, y eso lo hace bastante divertido de hecho. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Trials Rising takes you around the world to iconic locations. You never ride alone and competition is everywhere. But competition is nothing without the players and our community has always been a pillar of Trials. In Trials Rising we work with our players more than ever. To explain more, let me introduce Brad Hill, also known as Professor Fat Shady. Si escuchan un inglés muy raro es porque acuérdense que Ubisoft es un estudio francés, básicamente. <laughs> you made a mess. <laughs> well, thank you, Auntie, and hello, everyone. See, OT HD down the front, I see you. I became a fan of Trials because it's challenging, but so rewarding when you overcome something difficult. But I soon realized that a number of play players struggled with the harder levels. So in 2013, I created the U University of Trials, a YouTube channel dedicated to mastering Trials writing. Now, before I go on, Ubisoft star players, I want you guys to make some big noise right now. All right, well, five years ago, I was a star player just like them. But when Red Links began work on Trials Rising, they approached me to design and create all of the tutorial content within the game. It has been an amazing experience for me, but I wasn't the only one involved. <clears throat> 20 community members known as the Trials Elite, not there, have been involved in the development of this game for the last two years. Whether they were track builders, streamers, or speedrunners, each brought something special to help shape this game. Now, if you want to get involved, register online at trialsgame.com for a closed beta happening later this year. Good. That's it. No, se pueden registrar en www.trailsgame.com para un beta cerrado que va a pasar más adelante en el año. Trials Rising will release on February 2019 on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and the first time ever also Nintendo Switch. de febrero, creo que dijo. Come to our booth and we'll show what Trials is about. Crashing with style and getting up again. Let's get out. Let's go. Thank you, Let's everyone. Go. Have a nice evening.
Bueno, febrero de Ok, le van a hablar un poquito más de The Division 2 Ojalá que ahora sí veamos gameplay y no la cosa que enseñaron en la conferencia de Microsoft que Estaba más scripteada que mis nalgas Mi nombre es Julian Garrity Y soy el director creativo de Tom Clancy's The Division 2 En Black Friday, un strain of the smallpox virus was released on dollar bills in New York City The infection and chaos spread across the nation. Seven months later, the virus has mostly burnt itself out, but America is tearing itself apart. Washington, D.C. is at the heart of this battle. Under constant threat from dangerous factions, civilians are trying to rebuild. In their survival lies the seed for the rebirth of society.
You are the last line of defense for those civilians and for the country. If you fail, history will be written by tyrants. If you succeed, history will remember the few brave heroes who fought to save a dying nation. This setting lays the groundwork for a compelling story-based campaign in which your actions have a clear impact on the lives of civilians. In the Division II, Washington DC must prepare for the greatest threat it has ever encountered. To face it, you and your fellow agents will need to bring your equipment and tactical abilities to the next level. Once agents reach the end of the main campaign, it's time to select a new progression path by picking a specialization. It starts with the choice of a signature weapon, powerful and unique weapons that complement the rest of your equipment. As okay, you progress, now we're going to have a system of very specialized Not only grow in power, but also unlock additional tools and abilities, including exclusive versions of skills. Specializations enable you to truly complete your own personal playstyle, but also to synergize with other players and take team play even further.
el 6 de junio el DLC de los changos para el Mario Plus Rabbids pésimo la pinche dirección de cámaras güey. dejen ver el puto gameplay chingada madre a mí que me interesa estarle viendo la cara a esos pendejos hagan una toma abierta ¿eh? en lugar de estar ahí en el puto escenario poniendo las jetas de estos güeyes que no dejen ver el gameplay bueno ni modo Luego se ponen de pinches creativitos y hacen cada pendejada que... ¿Para qué les digo? Ve, güey, o sea, con eso, con la pinche grúa hubieran hecho la, la toma abierta. ¿Para qué chingados a vos estarle viendo la jeta a los que están tocando? Lo pones una, dos veces y tantito, güey. Pues no mames. It was over. The old guard was wiped out. Those who kneeled were now at the gates of hell. They were killing us off. Burning our seas from shore to shore. We thought there was no way the Empire could win this game. As fate would have it, the tide turned in our favor again. A new wind was at our backs, blowing us straight to heaven. In our new Eden, there was only one rule. First come, first serve. It was dog eat dog. We became kings, queens, lords, and masters of our own new worlds. Fortunes poured down on us. They had their empire. Now it was our turn. Enemies became friends, friends became enemies. The best didn't trust anybody. The philosophy of the day was more and more. We were alone at the top of the food chain. Well, we thought we were. Dog world, we were wolves. And wolves hunting packs. Ya denle una puta fecha de salida, por favor. Of skull and bones, there are soulless empires. There are greedy trading companies, and of course, ruthless pirate games sailing the seas. But there are no heroes. Hello, my name is Justin Farron, Creative Director at Ubisoft Singapore. And for the past year, my team and I have been anxiously awaiting this moment to invite you, our fans, to join the hunt here at E3 2018. Piracy is dead in the Caribbean. The empires crushing all those who oppose them. So your next big score? The Indian Ocean, home to the richest trade routes in the world, where merchant ships carry cargo worth over $10 billion a year. And you, you're going to steal every last fucking coin. First, you need a target. You pick up intel on a heavily guarded frigate, fat with African diamonds meant for the Grand Mogul of India. That treasure will help you claw your way to the top to become the pirate that no empire can take down. Second, you must know your hunting ground. Our reactive and evolving world is reflected in what we call fortunes, presented to you by Taljeed, the fortune teller. Now, fortunes reveal changes in factions, weather, and the trade routes themselves. Today, Taljeed reveals favorable winds. That means more merchants to rob, 
but also more competition. And now I'm proud to share with you the essence of Skull and Bones, a shared world where every player encounter matters. Will you fight or will you ally? This is what we call the hunting grounds. All right, pirates, let's head to the hideout and have a great E3. Your hunt for the convoy starts here, in your hideout, deep within the Chagos Islands. This hidden pirate den provides everything you need for your next strike. From your shipyard, you choose the Black Horn for the upcoming battle. The strong winds will boost its speed, giving its battering ram a devastating punch. Next, you choose the right crew and gear for the mission ahead. Demi cannons are slow loading, but deadly at short range. Rockets are blazing fast and deal powerful damage from every angle. With everything loaded, let's head out. The winds are strong and the day is clear. That means more merchants to rob, but also more rival pirates out looking for a quick score. According to your intel, the convoy is sailing past a Portuguese fort, taking advantage of the strong winds. There she is, with our loot! That fort is too strong to simply sail past. Its cannons can blast you out of the water. You need to find a way to sneak by before the convoy slips away. We're excited, Captain! Fortunately, deception is another tool in the pirate's arsenal. Let's fool these blackguards! Disguised as a Portuguese merchant who tried to creep past the fort. Captain, if we engage, they will see it through our guys. Portuguese merchant and escort! This island provides perfect cover for a surprise attack. the optimal course for an intercept rigging your sails for speed you want to catch your victim off guard Captain, there she is. Piracy bags. Portuguese frigate, ahoy! Your attack has alerted a powerful Portuguese warship. At the helm is a Commodore. Too tough to handle on your own. Even worse, you could lose your loot. You need help, and you need it fast. That one's with us! Other captains have answered your call. Four against one should even the odds. Your side forms a tight squadron using a coordinated battle plan. The enemy strikes first. The first ship goes down, breaking your formation.
turns his cannons on you. You brace for fire, absorbing the first blow. Your allies maneuver for position. The Royal Fortune acts as a tank, drawing the Commodore's fire. It unleashes its special ability, Siege Mode. Once anchored, it can fire its cannons without limits. The Jaeger slips into position with its powerful cannon. Its special ability delivers eight shots in a single blast, increasing the odds for a critical hit. killing blow. The battle is won. But the glitter of gold can turn new allies into deadly enemies. For there is no honor among thieves. Se ve muy intenso este pedo, pero... Mm. Hasta no ponerle mis cochinas manos encima, mis cochinas pezuñas. <ríe> ¿Y sacaron otra beta? Transferencia, este juego que vimos el año pasado. Hello everyone, my name is Elijah Wood, co-founder of Though we're known for our film content, we're also avid gamers, and the opportunity to partner with you is a big part of it. And my name is Benoit Chiri, game director on Transference. Together, we combine the storytelling techniques of film with the interactivity of video games, enabling us to create this unique, deeply immersive world with a dark and unsettling narrative. Have you ever dreamed of entering someone else's consciousness, exploring their darkest thoughts and most intimate secrets? In Transference, with Transference, we're bringing a... No. With Transference, we're bringing a first-person <laughs> exploration game into a chilling new dimension. To escape, you must go hands-on to search for clues, solve puzzles while shifting between the perspectives of each family member, and attempt to piece together their mystery. This fall, in VR and on traditional platforms, we welcome you to uncover the secrets hiding in this mind-bending psychological thriller that will leave you with haunting memories long after you put down the controller. This is Transference. Thriller psicológico en el que vas a poderte meter en la mente de otras personas. Como dije, ya lo habían mostrado el año pasado. I know this rig's a bit cumbersome, but that's always the way with these new prototypes, huh? And all you have to do is just... Just be. I know things haven't been so great lately, okay? So I do. Big ben. I've been a lousy father, huh? I'm unable. Lousy husband, too. You should go to sleep. You've seen how rotten that's gotten, huh? But all that is going to change. We're all going to be together. All of our hard work. Reverse the process. All of our sacrifices. That's my gift to you. To us. Help me! Help me! Please! Dad? Why are you doing this? I love you. I 
happy with all of my heart. Ok, fue el 2018, o sea que... Septiembre, octubre, noviembre o diciembre. Supongo que septiembre... Bueno, septiembre a noviembre, yo creo. isn't going to stop until we end this. I will finish this. Okay, ahí está la fecha de Starlink, 16 de octubre. Es este Thank juego you. de navecitas NFC tipo Lego I'm Worlds y esas madres. Creative director on Starlink Battle for Atlas. Last year revealed our modular starship innovation to the world and showed you how players could reconfigure it instantly to adapt to any challenge. This year we're excited to show you what the, the depth of the open world that we've built and put the game directly into your hands. We're going to take you on a journey 400 light years away from Earth to the Atlas star system. Discover exotic planets, meet fascinating local factions, and forge your alliance. Upgrade your pilots, starships, and gear, and unleash devastating combos to save Atlas from the relentless Forgotten Legion. The mission will not be easy. Atlas is a dangerous place. And our heroes will need all the help they can get. Could use a little help here. Can you hear me? Star Fox? Sí. Se rumoraba que iba a salir un Star Fox, pero nunca pensé que saldría en Ubisoft. Bueno, más bien vas a poder meter a Star Fox en este juego. Fox and his crew into the game. 
And Star Fox on Super Nintendo was the first 3D game I've ever played. Otra colaboración de Nintendo that. con Ubisoft, eh? so qué loco. Me, this moment is a dream come true. And this dream was only made possible thanks to our long relationship with Nintendo. We can't wait to play Fox on the Nintendo Switch. I would like to give you to give a special thanks to a dear friend with with us in the audience today. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Miyamoto. Y otra vez Miyamoto en una conferencia de Ubisoft. Qué pedo. Bueno, ya no se me debería de hacer raro. Hello, how are you? I know you were coming today, so I came with a gift. You know, it's the first prototype of the vessel that you we such so. Do you like it? Super. So thank you very much. Um, so it, it is uh, actually. Uh, bueno, lo está regalando a Miyamoto el primer prototipo del so la navecita y el Fox. So let's go para el juego. Thank you. Ya, güey, agárrense a besos en sus pupis que se hacen güeyes. <ríe> Bien que se aman. Thank you, Mr. Miyamoto, and thank you, Eve, for everyone at E3. Please be sure to come by the Ubisoft booth where we'll have a full hands-on demo for you to try. For everyone else, Starlink will launch on all consoles on October 16th with Star Fox as an exclusive Nintendo Switch experience. Okay, Star Fox va a ser exclusivo de Nintendo. Obvio, era obvio. Thank you. El 16 de octubre sale para todas las consolas. Thank you. Thank you so much. Check out starlinggame.com to pre-order the game right after the conference. Thank you so much for being here today and have a great E3. Viene Dishonor. Vamos a ver qué le hacen a este juego que ya está muriendo lentamente. Ah, perdón, For Honor. For Honor, For Honor. Streamers, cosplayers, artists, tournament organizers, and all of our players, you are For Honor. Indeed. Hello, I'm Roman Campo Soyola, Creative Director. Whether it be upgraded stability with the dedicated servers, release of heroes, constant balancing and new training tools, we would not be here without your passion and commitment. You've helped us enrich the experience. Thank you. Thank you. But actions speak louder than words, right? In celebration of E3, we are inviting new players to join. So, if you haven't played For Honor yet, now is your chance. Starting today and until next Monday, we are giving away the PC Starter Edition on you play. Download it this week on PC and it's yours for free. Verga, güey. Está gratis for honor hasta el hasta el 18 de junio para todos los que lo descarguen en PC. Y el starter pack va a ser gratuito. Ya va a ser para nosotros. We are now ready to expand our world. Fire is 
Órale, le van a meter una expansión con guerreros orientales. Otro que sale el 16 de octubre. Y al parecer la expansión trae a los mongoles, a los chinos. Entonces trae a guerreros de China, pues. Visual enhancement and single player content yet to be revealed. The Marching Fire update is our biggest and most ambitious addition so far. But this update would not be complete without answering a huge request from our community. A new 4v4 multiplayer mode fulfilling the classic medieval fantasy. You know what it is? The Castle Siege. So please, allow me to introduce you to this new mode, Breach. Va a haber un nuevo modo de asedio de castillos que se va a llamar Breach. No, bueno, pues asedio. <laughs> Además que bueno que van a tener estas cuatro nuevas clases, mejoras gráficas y van a meter contenido para el single player también. Hi everyone, I'm Delphine Dosset, brand director on The Crew 2. In just a few days, freedom will be yours. Freedom to get your hands 
Bueno, ya va a salir de Crew 2, hijos. Ya hice incluso un stream del beta cerrado. Está entretenido, pero no es como para todos. Es como para alguien que quiera hacer carreritas y todo muy arcade y muy, muy leve. Ya está disponible el Open Beta para que lo prueben si lo quieren a, a partir de ya. El juego sale el 21 de junio. El 29 de junio sale. Y el 21 es el beta. No, habían dicho que, bueno, la chipa, la chava esta dijo que ya era el beta ahorita. Ya viene Assassin's Creed hoy, DC. Se les filtró. Where we begin does not define who we will become. Before you, I see a path. Built by friendship and family. Love and loss. War and bloodshed. You were sent by the gods to protect this world. You carry the blade of Leonidas. Act like it. As you write your odyssey across the mountains and the seas, remember, the fate of Greece journeys with you. Thank you, thank you. I'm Jonathan Dumont, creative director of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Odyssey is more than just an adventure. It truly is a role-playing journey. You will explore on land and sea 
one of the most iconic and influential settings in human history, ancient Greece. The golden age of Athens saw the rise of democracy, modern medicine, revolutionary art, and Western philosophy. But it was also a time of war, a devastating conflict between Sparta and Athens. The Peloponnesian War divided the Greek world and changed the course of history. In this world of contrast and opportunity, this land shaped by the gods rages a battle between order and chaos. This is where your adventure begins. You, a simple mercenary, an outcast, to take on an incredible quest to save your loved ones and become the legendary Greece, uh, Greek hero uh, Greece desperately needs. Our teams in Quebec and from around the world have spent the last three years putting all their energy, passion, and dedication into this project. We have continued to transform Assassin's Creed into an epic RPG experience. An RPG in which you will not just play an Odyssey, but your Odyssey, shaped by your actions and choices. And the first choice you'll make at the start of the game is to choose your character. Alexios or Cassandra? And you play that character for the entire game. You share the bloodline of a legendary Spartan hero and bear his mysterious weapon. Your turn. Now need a spear. You're old enough now. My father's spear holds a certain burden, but... You are ready. Think of Leonidas. He had great courage. And he made a great sacrifice. You share in his blood and the strength he possessed. The broken spear of Leonidas gives you access to powerful range, combat, and stealth abilities that you can unleash on your enemies. Pinches juegos de Ascrid, cada vez se parecen menos a Ascrid y se parecen más a God of War. <risa> Pero está chido. And for the first time, we have deeply changed the way we tell stories in Assassin's Creed. You can now truly interact with history like never before. <laughs> Perhaps when I was thinner, both in weight and philosophy. So, tell me, were you able to resolve the situation without bloodshed? The rebel had guards. I relieved them. Hmm, interesting. You thought the life of a thief and a murderer was worth more than that of soldiers doing their duty. I wasn't even thinking about him, to be honest. And what of the rebel? He should be halfway to Mykonos by now. Oh, really? You let that lunatic run loose? Are you sure that was wise? I'm not sure approaching you was wise. Our choices are like ripples on water. They seem tiny and insignificant at the beginning, but they can become devastating tidal waves by the time they run their course. Over the next few days, you can experience this for yourself here at E3 in our playable demo. And for you at home, here's a full gameplay sequence of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Thank you, have a great E3.
Mykonos Island, built from the corpses of giants slain by the legendary Iraklis. Read me the note again. Eagle-bearing Mystios, that's you. We are a small but fierce group of rebels who'd pay you handsomely to help us overthrow our Athenian oppressors. A warrior named Diocles fights with them. None who face him survive. Please, Mystios, our people are dying. Signed, Kira. What did your informant tell you? Word has already spread of you sinking those ships. There's a price on your head. Whew, that didn't take long. There's also word of Spartans landing on Mykonos. So, I'm here to find Kira, who wants me to kill Diocles. An Athenian ally. Who's at war with Sparta? And don't forget the bounty! Business as usual, then. <laughs> Gods protect you, Cassandra. Thanks, Varnavas. But they'll be too busy protecting Diocles from me. We can spot it! Go! I'll handle this! Fight them for all! Can't be good. You're chasing your own death, mercenary. You won't escape me. You want my head? Come and take it. should have left me alone. Navas was right. Spartans have made themselves right at home. I'm looking for Kira. What do you want with her? Ha! The mercenary who bears the Eagle of Zeus. You got my message. It said something about paying me handsomely. <laughs> Mercenaries. Athenians have enslaved our people for too long. Help us free Mykonos from their grasp, and you'll have more Rahmi than you can carry. I'm here to kill Theocles, not go to war. Which is why I sent word of a rebellion to you and Sparta. My men are ferocious in a ground assault. But we're outnumbered. And Diocles fights with the fury of Ares. Join us in battle. If you're half the warrior Kira says you are, we'll grind these Athenians into dust. All right, Spartan. I'll fight with you. But Diocles is mine. To battle then.
5 de octubre, no mames. Ahora sí se la mamaron. Bueno, pues ya se acabó esto, hijos. Estuvo bastante bien. Entretenida la conferencia de Ubisoft. Hasta ahorita creo que Bethesda ha tenido la mejor. Pero bueno, eso es cosa mía. Este. Everyone watching from home. To our teams, it's an honor to work with some of the best in the world. Congratulations on a great show. Yeah. I am a good. I am an I am an optimistic guy. And I am particularly excited about the future of technology and the positive role games will play in shaping our society. To create these games, we need to work even more openly with you, the gamers, because we know when we do that together, everything gets better. So have a great history. Thank you very much. Ok, entonces pues ya terminó la conferencia Como dije, estuvo bastante interesantona Se ve bastante bien el nuevo Ascrit Y bueno, este, pues vámonos hijos No voy a hacer stream de a las 5 de la tarde Es la conferencia de PC No voy a hacer stream de esa Porque esas pinches convenza eh, con, Bueno, esos shows Son muy aburridos, la neta entonces nos vamos hasta las 8 para la conferencia de PlayStation, ¿ok? Vámonos. 8 p.m. hora de la Ciudad de México para PlayStation. ¿O es a las 9? Bueno, chequen mis redes sociales, ahí ven el horario. Creo que es a las 8. Vámonos. Vámonos. And uh, Yannick will be walking us through a little bit uh, into his strategy. But first of all, I want to ask you guys, uh, what are we going to see here? Well, th this is, uh, first of all, actually the, the E3 demo that we're showcasing here at E3. Right? So people can play this yes, at, the LAC, yes. at the Ubisoft. If you're in LA and you're going to E3, you can play what they're playing right now. So that's, that's, awesome. that's really cool. So this is uh, it's a tiny little slice of the open world mm -hmm. in, in Washington, D.C. in the Division 2, right? But this is actually, they're on their way towards that same crash site that we saw in the E3. Right, the, uh, um, the Microsoft brief, yeah. Yeah, the crash of the Air Force One. Exactly. Except right now, uh, it's tackling exactly. right now, uh, it's tackling at a different entry point than what was shown at the Microsoft conference. Am I right? Exactly. Yeah. And um, and so obviously the big reveal was the setting, Washington D.C., uh, capital city of America. 